Hello, beautiful humans. Let's look at your week ahead, the next seven days or so of your life. Welcome to Do You Tarot. My name is Erica. I'm shuffling this deck right now and I'm going to get three cards. I do pick a card readings on this channel. So all I'm going to need from you all is to feel your way into which of the three cards you're most drawn to. Once you are aware of that, head to the timestamp. It'll fast forward you to messages of guidance, some predictions, some useful things to be aware of, where you can get some assistance this week, all that kind of stuff that wants to come through for you all. But okay, group one, we have seven of air, group two, fool, and group three, hanged man. Trust your intuition, trust your psychic awareness, trust anything that pulls you or draws you into these cards or groups. That's how this works. And then head to the timestamp for your very helpful and useful messages. I will see you there. Hello, beautiful humans in group one. You all were drawn to the seven of air card. I'm gonna add one more card from the same deck and we're gonna see what is the overall theme of your week ahead for you or what are the overall energies that you'll be working with? Um, adding to the seven of air, we have the eight of water and I feel like there's something about a useful lesson to be learned here about your awareness of who and where you need to commit yourself to right now, sort of an awareness of patterns of thinking that you need to be in one mode of behaving when it's, it's more beneficial or useful for you to be much more in the authentic one or the honest one or the truth one. There are certain decisions that you need to make. The seven of air, it feels like, it's almost like picking which one, which one. And I find it really interesting that this person is here with a mask on their face and then the wings and they're around birds. And it's almost like they think that they need to be like a bird. Your week ahead with this aid of water here is to acknowledge and realize and recognize that even though you might be in a situation that is pressuring you to be like a bird, that's not necessarily the truth. And it's more useful to walk away from anything that is pressuring you to be who you are not or where you don't want to be and acknowledge that you do have the time that it takes. You do have the awareness that you'll need. And with this aid of water, you're probably going to have the resources to go ahead and shift change the pattern, look in another direction, simply be who you are, exist for this week rather than try to strive ahead or to move forward. The Eight of Water is giving me the vibes of this is the week to be rather than maybe to do, you know, get to know yourself a little bit more, have soup in a good book and a tea and rest. Or, you know, watch your favorite show. <laughs> um, it just feels like it's much more of those kinds of activities because reflection is really highlighted here. Like pay attention to, um, yeah, where you want to go and who you want to be and how your process or your approach to that might be harming or hurting you. We've got the nine of swords on the bottom of the deck. So I feel as if you all kind of in certain ways already know that and it's showing up in your thoughts, in your worries, worries, <laughs> in your patterns of behavior. I smushed worries and patterns into one word and I said worries, <laughs> worriness patterns. Like you need an emotional kind of, a, I want to say an emotional reset in terms of like a calm version of you for right now for this week to sort of allow all this stuff to come up to the surface in its own time when you have the time for it and to sort of paint your picture on the wall of your life of how you want it to go and how you want it to be because I feel you all feeling the pressure coming from outside of you of how it should be and how it's supposed to be. So, okay, let's get more specific with your tarot cards. We have the Eight of Pentacles as well as the Magician. Different kind of work happening this week, that's for sure. Um, Eight of Pentacles is when we're devoted to something. We're devoted to our own selves, our own existence, and we want to get better, and we're working on something because we like it. 
We like who we are. We like this project. We like our business. We, we like this relationship. We're devoted to it. We care. You know, it's that kind of energy. Here with the magician, I feel like this week is to pay attention to work comes in many forms. Infinite. Honestly. And it doesn't always look like in the material world and in the physical. The magician in, in tarot, they're usually holding the wand like the energy of fire and inspiration, passion, desire, will, spirit energy, life force energy. And they often have on the table the sword. Well, they also have a wand. Um, <laughs> they have the sword, the pentacle, and the cup as well. And they have the, the magician shows that moment in time where they're figuring out what energy do I need to use right now? With the seven of air and the eight of water, you might need to be using a bit more emotional and mental, which means maybe less physical forward motion, less physical actions, some time for restful contemplation, and also time for emotional inclusion. Eight of water points out experiences in our lives where we're not getting enough when it comes to our emotions. We're not having enough emotional availability in our partner. Our environment is just devoid of emotional sensitivity or allowing emotions to be there at all. This might be the way that we behave so that we can get by, but it's it's just innately for the vast bulk of us inherently just not true. We have a whole lot of feelings about a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> um, so throughout the week, a lot of events, I almost want to say because the magician card is here, this is your encouragement and you're reading through the form of guidance to go ahead and kind of force them to happen. Force yourselves to take the pause because you're going to reorganize your thoughts. You're going to sense and feel and that's going to change the way you think about things. The nine of swords is showing up on the bottom of the deck letting me as your reader know that this is the time to do such a thing because your thoughts are trying to show you an awareness of what you're worried about, what you don't think is going to work out, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's just shh, pause, not shush, sorry, the opposite of shush, pause, just like um, pause the, the force, pause the, the work, you know, and the work actually looks like contemplation, reflection, journaling, um, sitting in a windowsill, <laughs> daydreaming, you know, it just looks like letting yourself feel your feelings. I literally developed an entire emotional process where I do nothing but feel my feelings because I know they're trying to tell me something and, and the suppression of them is making it worse. Okay, so there's a whole lot of that being encouraged here. I see you all doing that and then also you're getting the guidance in this reading to do such a thing. Then we have Eight of Swords and Three of Swords, and here we go, a whole lot of stuff is gonna come up. Be mindful about this, and it's sort of like the approach to wherever it is that you're heading and what you are doing right now. Your dreams, your desires, your goals, your wishes, that relationship that you would like to work out better, the different living situation, the next phase of your business or your career. All of those kinds of things are being extremely heavily influenced by thoughts that are based on um, the confinement and the containment of you and thoughts that are based on where your heart is broken and has been broken. These are things that, that um, there's a lot of liberation energy coming here as well as a whole lot of like safety, a whole lot of, you know, hugs instead of harsh judgments. I feel you all, the more you are aware, the more you bring the light of conscious awareness to these parts of yourself where you're functioning still in that limited kind of a way, where you're functioning still in the, the heart hurt kind of a way without the healing being possible, without doing your part. What I see in these two cards after this work, after you know you going ahead and doing this work throughout the week, whenever and wherever you can, is I see hugs coming your way, you know, hugs. I'm just gonna use that generally. Like, you know, kindness, empathy, support, compassion. I see those coming your way rather than judgments being flung around. I see you all softening and continuing to soften. And then everything surrounding you, your environment, your relationships, your, your closeness of your living patterns, 
they all soften as well to contribute to your further liberation and your further heart healing. These are missing ingredients to wherever it is that you're headed and whatever it is that you're doing and where you're, where you're going. Like the, you're, you're going somewhere, you're trying to figure something out. Like this seven of Aaron, I, I, like I felt this immediately, like which one, which one is gonna help me? Which, which where do I choose? You know, the seven of Aaron, but it's wearing a mask and it's pretending to be a bird. That's like a, a confinement of our thoughts. You can be a lot more open-minded. You can be a lot broader. Like there are limitations that you need to be consciously aware of and you need to be aided and assisted with. And I feel that your environment has a whole lot of that assistance. It just might not be coming to you or for you or through you right now just yet because this work is being called up from inside of you. It's almost as if... Somebody doesn't necessarily know how to give to you right now uh, because, I don't know, I'm feeling the vibes of like you might have a friend who's like very conscious or very aware of like who you are or the truth or they can like kind of see through illusions and, and get to the heart of you or the heart of a matter and then they see you working for something but they don't know how to help you because you're working for something in a kind of a way that isn't true to your heart space, that isn't true to who you are. You know, they want to help. They don't know how. They don't know what gift to give you because it's confusing right now for them. Okay, your last two of your tarot cards, we have the seven of cups and the six of wands. I, I, I will always be blown away by tarot. <laughs> it is always so... I guess tarot and being psychic and intuitive. I swear, trust it, trust it. Your last two cards are showing me that throughout the week and by the end of the week, here come those decisions that you want to make uh, uh, in successful kinds of ways. Six of Wands. Six of Wands also can be interpreted to be inclusive of other people, being happy for you, succeeding, wanting you to make those beautiful decisions that are true for you and your awareness of your emotional compass to be able to make happiness and joy and empowerment and inner peace led decisions for yourself. Other people this week, other parts of your environment will want you to succeed in exactly this kind of a way. Be open to recognizing it. Pay attention to where it is coming from. Literally open your heart. This beautiful three of swords with the rainbow heart. It's just like all we need to do is take those pain driven or like in the form of, um, I don't know, kind of the pain that we don't, uh, you know, like, what is it? Suffering. I don't know, There's there are some things that are in your world right now that aren't a part of uh, your past. Your past caused the heart hurt. Where you're at right now, those same things that cause that heart hurt in certain people, in certain parts of your environment, your world, they aren't there. So it's like you can take out those swords and you can expand your heart. But again, you're doing a process, you're doing a work, you're doing emotional and mental work. And you, like by the end of the week, you're going to be making decisions so much more fruitfully and bountifully, not leading you to emptiness and not in a mode of behaving to where you are entrapping yourselves, group one, in ways of behavior that before this week you were unaware of. Okay, these two cards um, are what will help you with challenges and conflict. Where can you turn to and lean on inside of you and outside of you? I really feel like you're going to be surprised by how much support you have outside of you this week. But okay, what? Okay, <laughs> again. <laughs> um, I need to get you one more card. I, I had to hear that. Your guides were talking very clearly. Our guides, I should say. Um, listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Um, your heart space is the most important thing to align with this week. Very clearly, very, very clearly, as well as those who, like I said, that one friend who really sees your heart and doesn't really always know how to help you because 
you might be thinking that you have to bury your heart down or not behave with emotions right now or something like that. Like you're not safe to do those kinds of things. Um, in challenges and with the conflicts that you might approach this week, it is extremely useful, beneficial. And like, I, I really feel like saying the word paramount, like, like literally the most important thing for you to do this week is to do all of those kinds of practices that help you get in touch with your heart um, and encourage yourself to be supported by environments, people, surroundings, animals, plants, everything, food that helps you listen to your heart. Your next card, Igniting Courage. I am strong, valiant, and courageous. Um, there, There's something about uh, the energy of... Uh, th this card, the I part of it, is sort of like you, the full capacity of you, who you truly are and all that you really do require in order to thrive... There are some parts of you that aren't fully being included in your picture right now. Again, that seven of air and what it was like bringing up inside of me and the eight of water is like, I don't know, we've adapted in our environments to certain situations that um, are completely void of emotional like connection like this is not feeling right oh well I have to get along with it oh well I have to endure this igniting courage is like look for those sparks of light keys of opening and, and ignition you know around you to where your heart shouts out inside of you if you listen if you listen your heart will shout out to you like yes that completely yes them. Oh yeah, I want to ask them or that company. Like I'm going to write that email or something like that. I'm going to give them a phone call. That's what this feels like this card is talking about. Like these will help you. If you are so heart aligned this week, there are people, places, situations for you this week. It's just you have to listen to that loud calling, you have to sensitize to it and then have the courage to connect with it. Have the courage to connect with it and it will help you. There's so much light. I hope you guys can see the cards still well enough. There's so much, but it's been the time change overnight and I didn't realize that this time the light would be coming in like this, but okay. And then your last of these cards is soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. Play, play, play. Play. Play is one of the greatest and most useful therapies. You do and don't need to have children around <laughs> in order to do it. If you have kids, they give us greater permission and they're really damn good at it. There's something about doing those kinds of activities that bring you into certain emotional sensations. Like the eight of water can talk about being in a situation that requires us to numb. And the eight of water calls on us to have to do something about that. Like we cannot continue to numb. So what will help you with challenges and conflicts are people, you know, who find it easy to be in joy. And for you all, group one, actions and activities that take you right there. I did mention windowsill and journaling and soup <laughs> and books and great shows. Those can take us into joy. Also any kinds of movements, listening to music, certain kinds of, like what you said, people, you guys know, you guys know, your last two cards for your week ahead, it feels pivotal. That's the best word to use. It feels like kind of a, an extreme pivot and then grand awareness opening happening for you guys this week. We have Panda and we also have Mountain Goat. <laughs> Panda, create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. That's the ideal and that's the idea. And I think that's what led the way when we were talking about you all have enough of time, energy and resources to be able to create more sacred space surrounding you right now. The intentionality of this week is to help liberate you more, help expand you more in specific ways of you thinking bigger, brighter, larger, wilder, weirder, <laughs> grander, you know, just wider, bigger. Um, 
Yeah, like there are more options, so many more infinite options here. And then also with your heart space, like we've been repeating, that feels like a very, very important thing that you will be doing this week, not through the work of physical actions, as much as what is being encouraged in your reading through the work of the emotional and the mental ones. And then Mountain Goat, there's something out of balance in your life, like we literally were saying. <laughs> Like I just said, so do whatever you need to do to correct it. This is your week for being able to do exactly that. It's that mental, emotional balance that wants to come through in your physical world. Like the creating of the sacred space for yourself, it starts with your heart and then it expands into the useful tool that the mind and our thoughts are. Okay, do that work this week. Next week, there's probably like a whole lot of other stuff that you can do physically. <laughs> you know, like, you know, invest in and build and use your muscles and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, subscribe. <laughs> we'll get to next week when it comes. So right now you got this week. If this reading helped, let me know in the comments. Give it a like. Also, I have some pretty cool links in the description of this video for tarot offerings, including that group tarot if you want to show up. Head to the link, find out more. It's $11 to sign up. Otherwise, I'm sending you on your way. Please remember we are all free and we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. beautiful humans in group two you all were drawn to this fool card so these are your messages about your week ahead i'm gonna get one more card from that same deck and we're gonna see what is the overall theme of your week um or what is the overall energy that you'll be dealing with we have the fool card and we're adding to it the ace of air and i'm hearing <laughs> hearing and heeding the call something is going to come through for you in the form of communication um i feel like this isn't necessarily going to be spiritual or in inspirational i feel like outside of you communication and it's going to inspire you lead you to the next action to take the next goal to pursue the next thing to do in your world, in your life that expands and progresses and provides for. And I'm also hearing and reasons with, if you have some kind of a situation going on where reason just really needs to be infused into that situation because there's like there are like arguments or conflict of interest or something like that. The overall theme of your week is this kind of clarity this kind of energy this kind of communication coming through for you so this this message right now wants to kind of be guidance of be aware of it and be ready for it and be ready to take action on it it's gonna be something like a message something like a communication from someone that you need to hear from about something that you need to know or you need to like come through for you or something like that um yeah, okay, we're going to get more specific with these tarot cards that I'm getting right now. But I honestly, I feel like this is kind of serious. Like, I, I, I can be a very joy-driven and light person, but right now my energy, I, I don't feel like going in that direction with you all right now, group two. I feel like, okay, this is quite, like, serious. <laughs> like, for some reason, as I laugh. Okay, um, bottom of the deck, we have three of swords. This is important for you. This is almost like taking one of those swords out of your heart and giving you some kind of clear choice, clear guidance, clear opportunity, clear option, clear path or direction for you to go on to resolve, to heal, to fix, to pursue. Like, it matters. It's almost like instead of pain... And a pain journey and a pain path, here is one that is love. Here is one that is support. Here is one that is connection and compassion and empathy. And like, I I'm just doing this with my hands because it's like, here is one that is a love journey or a love path. And in order to pursue it, you got to see it and you got to see it very clearly with your mind space, I feel like. Um, I was really, really immediately, like when I hit record, instantly this horn came out on your full card that you were drawn to and then we're adding to it the ace of air and it's just see them for who they are see it for what it is and take that and run with it that's real that's true go for it 
um, I feel like what, what I just channeled could go either way. It's like, see the truth of they're a liar. You have to move forward with that truth, you know, kind of a thing. Or see the truth of they have been trying to get through to you, you know, kind of a thing. And you've got like walls of resistance up. That's the truth. Move forward with it. Okay. Your tarot. We have King of Cups and Ten of Wands. Okay. I feel like something is going to occur to help you realize how much you are putting on your own shoulders, thinking that you need to or have to. Um, and there are easier ways of going about it, easier ways of doing it. I remember my hands kept wanting to come together, like, like people or group or, you know, lots of people in on this instead of just you doing it, going solo. This can be you having empathetic discussions and conversations with important people. I really, I'm hearing the words key stakeholders, like in your business world or in your business life. It's literally like the energy of rationally, logically adding in how we feel into a situation into a project, in into our workplace. Like this, these are important details. I feel like I feel like this is gonna show up in a whole lot of different ways. The energy of the King of Cups, Ten of Wands in your week ahead. I feel like it might be one major event that clarifies a whole lot for you and others so that you can unburden yourselves, group two. It feels as if you've been carrying so much on your shoulders thinking that you have to, or you actually are put in a position where you need to and it's required of you. What is going to happen is to show you a way to where you can lay down your load and other people can assist and the world won't fall apart as a result of that. Okay, I'm moving on to these two cards, but I don't, I, I, like for some reason that feels hugely important. So I almost like, I wish I had a highlighter and I was highlighting over these two cards, like this is really important. <laughs> like for your week ahead, I'm moving on because there are no more words to say, but highlighter, <laughs> this is really, really important. Okay, your next two cards, we have the Hierophant as well as the Three of Cups. Standing up for yourself in the social order of things. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I know I'm talking to quite a few of you in these videos, so I'm going to give the general vibes, but I like to get very specific with you all. So hopefully some examples will come through and they'll resonate for a few of you. But the Hierophant and the Three of Cups is doing things socially your way and having that matter, having that be accounted for continuing with it, setting it as the order of things, regardless of how things are set outside of you, you've got a way of doing things and you have a moral code and you have an order inside of you that kind of needs to vibe with it. And maybe in the week ahead for quite a few of you, this will come in the form of some kinds of confrontations so that you can move forward with this so that it can fit in. This is a huge call. Again, that fool and the ace of air, like hear the call and then heed the call. This is a huge call for you to face conflict. <sighs> um, <laughs> that's a hard one. Um, face conflict because the path is through, the path is with, conflict is inevitable. Every single person on this planet has their own individual hierophant operating inside of them. What do you think? What are your needs? What, what do you want? What are your desires? What are your beliefs? What are your codes of conduct? No matter how hard we try, we're never going to get one single consensus beyond can, can, we, can we get something that can support all of us like a patchwork quilt, you know, kind of a thing. Is, is the vibe here. So it's like, show up, show yourself. It might not even come in the form of conflict. The Three of Cups is quite a celebration card and there is something to celebrate. This is the energy of you showing up to the party as who you are, um, it, you know, and talking about openly about whether or not you're nervous to be in a social situation or not. Like, you showing up to situations and conversations as who you are and it being included and it being celebrated. That I feel challenge. I feel a sense of nervousness in these events. But it's about you hearing that you're meant to be included. You're wanted to be included. 
they, the others, will be included as well. It's all about that patchwork quilt objective and that goal. I feel like there's one more thing to say about here. Um, I think that I, I'm channeling and I think I was called to lead with how it might, these two cards might be representing something that you might re receive or experience as harsh. Like, I have to show up as myself. I have to set a boundary or I have to call them out on their actions or something like that. It might appear like something like that. While at the same time, I think I led with um, eat your vegetables and now I want to give some examples of here's dessert options as well. <laughs> like I'm like, you have to eat the healthy thing. And then also this could be something that is like really vibrant and really gorgeous and beautiful where you're nervous, you show up to something, anything in your life as you with all that makes you, all the weirdness, all the uniqueness, all of the eccentricities and the normalities, everything. You show up as you and it's cohesive. You see it. You can tell that it's quite bountiful. There's that energy again of a kind of a different version of the hear the call and heed it, like follow it. I feel like this might be your kind of first experience maybe in a long time, maybe that's ushering you forward to where you're embraced as who you are kind of a thing, whether it's through, you know, the challenge of you have to show up, you know, and that's going to be hard and people will be resistant or you'll be resistant or something like that, or through the, the challenge of just showing up and then, and then like letting the walls down because you realize that you're well received or people like you or like it all went well, you know, again, taking that sword out of your heart, there's a love path showing up here and that's the idea. There's a love path either way um, for you all. Okay, and then your last two of the tarot cards, we have the Page of Wands and then the Three of Wands. Invitation. An invitation for a journey coming for you this week. Um, this really is giving me the vibes of a commitment, a project, some kind of art, some kind of work. And it's inspiring and you do desire it. You will desire it. Um, I feel like there's the energy of shock, awe, surprise at what this is. Like it's unexpected. But again, the overall theme is hear the call and heed it. And the three of wands is it's a part of who you are already. It's pulling on something that's already there inside of your system that you got going on. Like... What we were talking about, the here, fine, you know, that's like you inside. Like your systems that you got going on outside in your life, like who you talk with, what are your habits on a daily basis, where you work. I feel like this is something that's continuing all of that, but in a different kind of a way that gets you far more excited. And it's sort of like embracing the future and the future is very expansive. The future is unfolding in front of you this week in unexpected ways. And I really, again, want to focus on the, all the, the mental. It's really about you being able to see it clearly, hear it for what it is, and move forward with it and through it and about it. You know, there's so much beauty, so much potential. And right now I feel calm, like I'm channeling this energy. Right now I feel peaceful. This last thing that I'm tuning into with these two tarot cards, the wands cards, you will be excited about it. it is exciting, but there's something about how it fits into the whole picture of your mindset right now, who you are, where you're headed, or just like, I don't know how you think of yourself right now, that it sets your mind at ease rather than gives you butterflies in your stomach. Like it has you feeling calm and peaceful, like... I don't know, you're heard, you're seen, or you can hear and see people and, and people are grateful and they're showing it to you. And so then if you have a healing kind of a business, it's expanding because people appreciate how you see and hear them. You know, it really feels as if it's like, I don't know, you finding your place in, in the world, you finding meaning in your life, I don't, it's honestly, it's feeling like quite a big week, but the way that you are taking it is in this version of, I'm, I'm channeling this from you all, is in this version of like inner peace. I don't know, kind of like sanctuary in self, like you found it, you've like, you've, you've either figured it out or 
you walked far enough around uh, the corner that you didn't know what was on the other side of, and here it is, the it that you didn't realize that you were going for. That kind of gift of true calm, true peace, you know? Woo, you guys. Okay, these two cards that I just got, these are what will help with challenges and conflict this week. And again, we did tune into some of them, so let's see. Savoring pleasure. I fully embrace bliss in my life. This card is a very simple call to do those things of patience, calm, self-care, self-worth, self-love. And then also the magic of moving at a slower pace and paying attention to the details of how we feel and how we are sensing things. It really feels like it'll help out a lot with these social things as well as these sensitivity things. We have the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. There's there's emotional involvement. There's emotional connectivity. There's like emotions matter this week and our sensitivity to our environment, they matter. So it's do those things that will help you be able to sensitize, um, that will give you permission to sensitize and that will also create a sanctuary, a safe space for you to be sensitive. I like that this card says savoring pleasure because oftentimes in a lot of ways I have found myself compelled to sort of like dull down or numb like things that I find pleasurable. Oh, a really good example of this is the movie Amelie. If you all have seen it, um, this like lovely little introverted French woman. She's at like the market and there's a bin of, I think it's like lentils or beans. And she talks about how she likes to push her hand into them because it feels good, but that's socially unacceptable. <laughs> Like she's pushing her hand into the beans that's like for sale and for everybody else to buy um, the dried beans. Um, but she's literally doing the thing of savoring pleasure. It feels good. It's like a sensitive thing to do. And she does it kind of like hidden. Nobody notice me <laughs> kind of a thing. It's sort of like do do whatever you need to do so that you can push your hand into a bin of dried lentils. Because cause that's you knowing what feels good. Even if it's nonsensical, even if it's innocent to you, that's like the shop owner's beans and they're trying to sell them. And if you put your hand in them, it's making them full of diseases. Um, that was filmed pre-COVID, but okay. <laughs> um, yes, and then your second of these cards, accepting what is. I accept and embrace my inner majesty. Doesn't that go right here with that here font energy? Like I said, with your Fool and your Ace of Air overall energy main theme, what I feel like is likely to occur this week is that the, that kind of stuff is coming from outside of you, toward you. Um, and part of maybe the challenge this week is accepting it. See, seeing through all of our filters, <laughs> seeing through all of our defense modes or something like that and allowing that our whole order of self like who we are is really actually being quite accepted really actually being quite embraced this week I'm kind of really excited about this page of wands three of wands as an onlooker of your life group two as a bystander like <laughs> again when I'm channeling it I feel you're calm but I get excited as a person who knows you in this kind of a way this kind of an invitation this kind of a, a, a possibility this kind of an opening of a door and a journey to go on. That's a very exciting, beautiful thing. And it's happening as a result of the, the world around you embracing who you are with your inner majesty. Like you being accepted into something that you wanted to be accepted into. I really feel like it's going to feel differently. Um than what you had anticipated <laughs> like I can feel the excitement I, actually right now I'm still in your emotions I just I feel a sense of calm which is really nice but regardless to help you with these kinds of challenges just remember that it is you and the you-ness that is you know represented this week like it, I, I almost want to say expect to be embraced and accepted expect the calm Expect those kinds of things and that they will help you 
like be there at that social thing, this three of cups, or be with self when you need to, you know, set the boundaries if this shows up as a challenge. But okay, your last three cards to send you on your way, we have domestic cat with it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. Grouse, express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. And then we have Gorilla, take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. Gorilla very much so is talking about where that call might be coming from, as well as the King of Cups is like such a compassionate energy. It's like the balance of how everybody feels and the logic of including that in a system that supports everyone. The cat feels like the work that you have already done in terms of setting the order of self, you know, the inner work, the shadow work, the, the monstrosity of understanding self and knowing self. It feels like you've done that um, to lead into this week. You've done, I almost wanna say enough of that, enough work for to set the course of action that we're tuning into in your next seven days. You got you, and that's why the next seven days are occurring. And then the grouse, express yourself. That's this week. It's like the whole world around you wants your part of the patchwork quilt to be included. And this is your time to be you <laughs> so that you are sewn into the whole entire thing. It's like, don't mute your colors. Don't pretend that you're a different pattern. Now that you're right here, now that you're in the quilt, like you have a place, you have a space right here, right now. Make sure you express how you feel. Make sure you do that and be aware of how others with this gorilla are doing exactly the same thing. You're one patch on that quilt, so is everybody else. We're all doing this together. We're all in it together, you know? Okay, that's what we have for you, group two, you, your guides, your energy, my guides, all the things that speak through me. Um, if it has helped, give it a like and subscribe and also let us know in the comments. Also check out the links in the description of this video. I have some pretty cool tarot offerings. I'm sending you on your way. Please remember we are all free and we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. beautiful humans in group three you all were drawn to the hanged man card so these are your messages about your week ahead i'm gonna get one more card from that same deck add it to your card and we'll see what is the overall theme or the overall energy of your week ahead for you adding to the hanged man we have the page of air Mmm, i have an energy that i'm gonna try to put words to that just came through but it makes me want to cry I, I literally feel like inside of your heart space, there's a crying out for help, for resources, for somewhere, somebody to just understand or understand you. We could be going, for you all, group three, we could be going very deep to something that's like an unmet need from childhood. While also I feel like a whole lot of you, this resonates for like a certain partner or a certain relationship in your life where you don't know how to communicate that you need something that isn't there and you don't know what to do about that. The hangman and the page of air, you need something in your life that isn't there through someone in a relationship, in your work life, like fulfillment in your job rather than just doing it because it gives you the paycheck kind of idea. Um, the whole main theme of this week is that cry out for like love, help, assistance, understanding through the universe from you. I don't know why I'm saying it exactly like that. It's almost like, why would the universe want you to struggle and suffer without the things that you truly do need to not just survive, but thrive? Um, there's something about accountability and knowing who you are and knowing this kind of stuff is necessary for you and then being able to do something about it this week, sort of working through your fears of being able to discuss this with others about who you are, 
where you're headed, what you require to get there. I just feel like there's something of anguish inside your heart, like an anxiety if we put it inside of our minds. But your heart is aching for somewhere, someone, something, something for somebody to do for you or about you or to you. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the moon. I did say heart and the moon. I mean, it can, okay. <laughs> I mean, the moon doesn't necessarily only have to deal with the heart space or intuition or guiding ourselves through life and through situations with, you know, our emotional acuity. I also feel like it, it can include all of the things like your your mind mind and your thoughts as well as you know your gut and when it tells you you know your health your physical health like if something is off in your physical health the moon card here on the bottom of the deck is letting me know what has already contributed in your life what is building this week ahead um it, it's just letting me know that you've had indicators a, a, like of something something is wrong something is off I need something I have an awareness that I have to do something or there's a call or somebody needs to help me or I need to be understood something like that and then the moon card is here to let me know that you have been doing your part to try to figure it out really try to figure it out the hanged man shows up for many reasons in a reading but one of the number one things that I always clue into because so often in tarot decks the hangman uh, the person on the card has a halo around them and it means that there's a very pure part of your life who you are your vision for the future and it's just not represented in the present moment right now but all of those things are very pure intentioned pure hearted innocent you know meant to be a part of the present and yet they aren't so then hanged man calls on patience for me, hangman, for a person who's witnessing somebody else in that position, it calls on my activism to help, to do something about it. Um, not in every person, <laughs> and, and for good good reason. I feel like a lot of people maybe surrounding you might be dealing with their own challenges of trying to work through, um, I don't know, a childhood where they were raised with like guilt trips or something like that, where I don't know if somebody needed like like i don't know you know um oh their parents like i don't know used emotions and mind to sort of manipulate or something like that i don't know this might be the people surrounding you might be burdened with respond with uh, like oh if somebody needs something they they kind of like want to give but they resent it you know, I'm getting deep and psychological for some reason, but we got the moon card on the bottom of the deck, which lets me know that you all have already like tried, like you were doing your part to try to figure yourself out and to try and fix it yourself. But I feel like the overall energy is not a self fixable thing. Uh, we need others involved. Okay, here we go. Your tarot. We're going to get more specific with these tarot cards. We have justice and we have six of swords. Oh, okay. You all are receiving something this week. You are receiving some form of balance. And I feel like, I feel like it's going to come in the form of space, like physical space, but safe space nonetheless for you to be able to clear, clarify and communicate and have others on board with you to be able to do that as well. This, this is giving me the vibes of family counseling, but like, you know, safe space, trust tree kind of thing. Um, it's giving me the vibes of like the space that you have been needing it will show up for you. And this will be you occupying that space and feeling a certain sense of calm. Like, I'm so glad that this is happening because I needed it to kind of energy. Didn't I say something strange? I channeled something strange about like the universe. Like, uh, like something about how you're meant to be thriving or something like that. I don't know. This just feels like there might be a mystical quality to it for a few of you of like, God, I really needed something to break through for me. I And I, I sense for you all group three that this is a need, not a want. It's you actually need this. <laughs> and what I feel like in these first two cards is the, the one of the many things that will be occurring likely is that safe space kind of energy will appear for you and it will improve your situation kind of dramatically if you choose to focus on it and if you choose to appear and show up there 
like wherever that safe space is, if it's in the container of a conversation, if it's in a, the container of, you know, like a, an office meeting, um, it's, if it's around the dinner table, like that safe space appearing, notice it and occupy it, be in there, go in there and generously give the space for other people who might not be so comfortable in safe spaces um, to be in there as well. This might be a whole lot of beneficial communication, but I'm going to also allow that the communication might be nonverbal. I, I, this might be something that shows up to where you meet a person and all you do is like sit next to them and it just feels safe and kind. You don't have to say anything at all. And it just is like, that's peace in and of itself. Ah, I just feel like something is going to happen to help you know that there is safe place, safe space for you in this world right now. Your next two cards, we have the Ace of Swords as well as the Ten of Cups. Ah, uh, okay, this, this has layers. Um, <laughs> a bright idea is going to show up through you, inside of you, kind of a light bulb or an inspiration, kind of a light bulb. Like, I don't know, there's going to be something that you might say offhand and then it'll spark a whole lot of key puzzle pieces being locked in or something like that. I really feel like this Ace of Swords is quite significant, especially with your Hanged Man and Page of Air showing up. I, I feel like you like there's something that is likely to occur this week that will be like, like a, you snap your fingers like, oh my God, oh my God, that's what I needed. Oh my God, now oh, all these things are locking into place. Okay, um, I understand how this all works. I need to tell somebody about it. The Ten of Cups is like, okay, there are layers. <laughs> These are two cards and I'm intuiting so much <laughs> into your situation here. Um, what I feel like is that for you, with your hanged man, you will know that this is vibrant, this is good. You will see it for what it is. Your bright flash of idea or clarity or inspiration or insight. Um, yeah, something will happen like, like some kind of a, a word like somebody will say a word and, and you'd never heard that word before and then like you'll look it up and you're like oh my god that like this is a random example but of what's likely to occur but that word sets off a whole lot of things of like oh that's the word that i needed and now everything makes sense and then you start to use the word in your communication with others because it helps you make sense of the world around you um oh like the term sorry <laughs> I'm thinking back to when the shutdown was and, you know, Black Lives Matter and all that kind of stuff. Like, um, cultural appropriation was a term that I didn't know of. And then once we know what that term is, then we can start to use it because it, it like, helps people understand each other. Okay. Hopefully that example works for you because the Ten of Cups makes sense to you. Like this is this this is what we need to do. This Ten of Cups. Like I, I see people not necessarily getting it yet. I see you though realizing that this is exactly what you need to pursue and to communicate to others. There's a brightness in this as it as it pertains to you there's a challenge in it as well as it pertains to others being able to realize that it's a ten of cups kind of vibe that it's a like everyone together loving each other connection commitment like solid you know everything like <laughs> emotional fulfillment in community family tribe belonging all that kind of stuff something is going to come through you're going to be trying to communicate it to others because you know it is emotionally fulfilling. You know it is it is from the heart space. You know that it is what will work. Uh-huh. It just feels like this kind of like tragedy of needing to communicate it to others that either won't get it or don't want to get it or are a little bit confused. And again, we have this justice and six of swords kind of situation to where there, there might be that safe space to be able to communicate a little bit more, to be able to understand and love the devil in our midst. I do that as a, I do that constantly. I, I develop this mental ritual of any time I think that there is like the evil or the devil. Like I love the devil so that I can understand. 
I just had a conversation about this, like with somebody who was really into true cop crime and we were talking about serial killers. And then like basically my love the devil ritual is taking me on a journey of what makes serial killers because it's, it's really awful <laughs> and I don't want to make them. So then I have to like, you know, love so that I can understand like what created that? Like, you know, does that make sense? It's not as if I'm condoning that behavior. It's much more of a like, Ten of cups kind of thing. Okay, anyway, hopefully you guys get in. I didn't just like <laughs> confuse everything about your reading. That's what this feels like is that like to communicate something about like how I'm loving the devil. Like to somebody who's like, no, there is evil and there is good in the world. That's going to create some kind of a, you know, mishmash of communication and ideals and stuff like that that I feel like you guys have going on right now. Okay, your last two of the tarot cards. We have two of cups and five of cups. Um... This might actually, for this, I really feel as if this might be some kind of a disappointment for you all in the moment. Okay, what I feel like at first, I just felt like this was the energy of like calm awareness of, of where people are at right now in your world around you. You guys have many layers to your reading, I swear. To your week ahead, your, your week ahead, I swear, for the, for the, <laughs> it's very dense. <laughs> There's a lot going on, multi-layered here, inside and out. Okay, two of cups, five of cups. I really feel like what's going to occur is some kind of, some form of disappointment where you challenged yourself to lean into someone or a situation and they kind of like don't, like they, they kind of drop you kind of energy. Um, and then, you know, the the loss of that, while at the same time, the two of cups for me, there's just like, I feel this energy of disappointment and confusion. Um, and also continuation. Um, I feel like if we were tuning into more than the next seven days, we would see something maybe coming back around, something cycling, you know, the spiral. Is that like, you know, the straight line you can get from point A to point B. The spiral is like, it's curving and it'll come back around. I'm feeling the vibes of that in the two of cups. But the five of cups is like you're you're uh you're needing to be emotionally aware of you know wh what's going on and providing for your awareness of you need to lean and there's disappointment happening in that <sighs> I just feel like this is a week for you to like figure out um like I, I suppose how to communicate while also I'm feeling there's the energy of have patience with others. Um, there's a reason why I was drawn to communicate that love the devil ritual that I do. Um, I just feel as if somebody is going to disappoint you be, like, in the form of like you need, you need something. You really need it from the outside world. <laughs> and then... Like they're, they're going to be there and then they're not going to be there and it's going to hurt. And there's such an energy in your reading with the moon card on the bottom of the deck of you have the ability to have this kind of awareness of where they are coming from. Doesn't excuse it, but you can understand where they are coming from. And then the two of cups is like, there's a continuation of this connection or these connections in the future almost because of that. Like, you know, is it? I don't think it's Rumi. I forget who said this. Maybe it's like Osho. I don't know. The the quote of there are no others. The two of cups for me is, is yes, it's like, you know, soul driven love kind of thing. But it's also as within, so without. You see yourself in another. It is very much mirroring energy. What is within you is also outside of you. And likewise, so then I feel like this is going to kind of double down on the pain and the confusion in those kinds of ways of like, of, like the two of cups, it even looks like it's leaning, <laughs> like, you know, this is got it meant to be kind of thing. And then it's just not going to happen for some reason or work. But I feel like you have a golden opportunity here to be able to provide for yourself sustenance in the form of an awareness or an understanding or an empathy given to self and other about like why it might not work instead of just like calling someone a narcissist or berating them for being avoidant 
understand where do those things come from? Why is a person like that? And then move from there. I have two cards here that are showing us what will help with challenges and conflict this week. You have your fair share of them while also you have this generous amount of safe space and peace happening here as well. And you have that beautiful ace of swords thing occurring for you. Um, wow, savoring pleasure came out for group two as well. It said, I fully embrace bliss in my life and it's the same vibe or same energy. I'm feeling also take the break, take the pause. Okay, group two, it was a little bit of a different kind of a thing that I'll repeat that is like this week, what will help you with these challenges is um, allowing yourself to be sensitive, building those, those sanctuaries to where you can have all of your sensitivities on high alert because they're, they are literally, with the moon card, they are literally guiding you through your life right now. Um, you need them. You need to be hyper aware and sensitive. It's like telling a wolf to not be able to smell as sensitively as it can. Like you can feel things. You can sense things. You can have intuition. You can have psychic awareness, you know? The vibes. You can tell the vibes. Like it's like if you got those sensors this week, use them and do whatever it takes for you to be able to empower yourself and give yourself permission to use them. Okay, that's coming through very big time. And then also have patience, my dear, is coming through so much. Like this is the week for baths. This is the week for maybe nothing really fruitful or breakthrough kind of thing will occur outside of you or in the other, but a whole lot can occur within you. And this is one of those weeks where how to face the challenges is to realize that even if it looks like you're doing nothing or no work or no, no forward movement this week, what I'm seeing in your cards and how to face the challenges is to realize and reckon with the reality of you've got so much going on inside of you. The work is there inside of you. It's kind of like those people who suffer from chronic pain that doesn't show on the outside, like joint pain and like fibromyalgia and things such as that. How horrible is that like mentally and emotionally to constantly be in pain and nobody can actually see it, you know? Um, this I'm saying all of that because what will help with the challenges is your monumental awareness that you are doing such a huge amount of work even though you would be lying in a bathtub for an hour you're going to be doing the sensitive work okay <laughs> and sometimes it requires lying in a bathtub for an hour and then your second of these cards breaking barriers oh you needed this you needed this i am expanding beyond limitations into joy and freedom especially with this ace of swords and the ten of cups and then what might occur with you trying to share that or trying to lean in again your heart space is crying out for some kind of a necessity that has to be there in your life what you are doing this week when you have that breakthrough of like oh that's that term that i needed and when you do the sharing when you harmonize with safe space and you invite others into it and you host that all you are doing is breaking barriers whether the outer world is ready to approve of it or not surrounding you that is what you are doing how much action i love that this shows like a vine with some buds on it and then the first leaves are appearing how much action happens before we see leaves you know how much action happens with a seed in the soil? Does an animal eat the seed, walks around, poops it somewhere else, <laughs> then it goes into the soil, and then the seed has to break with its roots, and then all these roots have to happen. That's the unseen work, or maybe the unseen pain of your week ahead. And there's something about, oh, I think I moved the table. There's something about facing the whole challenge of that this week um with the reality of you are expanding you are growing it doesn't look on the outside like a whole lot is you know fruitfully leaf you know blossoming kind of energy so much is happening to prepare for it it is unreal okay your last two cards so oh, your cards are really really here for you this week and I am too, I swear. Um, Panda, create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work. That bathtub, this justice six of swords, that's exactly what we were saying. 
This might be you with your energy needing to create it, needing to go ahead and do it. Again, hosting it and creating that vibe. Even though you're in this space of needing something, this also panda might be, if this is created for you, just step right into it. Anything that you have at your disposal that assists in you being able to, to, to do that, to live in that. I'm just thinking of all those videos that I've seen of pandas being silly. <laughs> I just saw one recently and I showed my kids. I didn't realize because I saw Kung Fu Panda and I didn't realize that pandas actually like real, real pandas, they, they tumble, they do somersaults. And I'm like, oh, that's real. <laughs> it wasn't just in an animated movie. Do all of your things, do all of your things that help you do this, this kind of breaking barriers and savoring pleasure work. This is work, you know it is. And then we have, and, and invite others into it in whatever way you can. And then we have blue hair and perfect card for you. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Again, I just keep wanting to say like tune in, I mean subscribe if you want to, but tune into readings in the future because this two of cups energy for me, it, it has the vibe of cycling back around but I just feel like, you know, like kind of don't like don't count on it for this week. It feels like a harsh thing to say. Count on you for this week. You might not be able to see the future just yet in terms of where everything comes clear and everything is that ten of cups. Um, you might not be able to see it happening outside of you, but you know it inside of you. And that's why the blue heron is here. That's why the hangman is here. That's why you have that ace of swords, 10 of cups thing. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. You know what feels right. You know what is good for you and probably other people too. Go ahead and do that to the best of your ability this week because I swear in the future, we're going to have some shit cycling back around. <laughs> okay? That's what we have for you, group three. How do you feel? Let us know in the comments if you're comfortable. Um, also, hit that like button. And like I said, subscribe if you want to because I'll be tuning in to this energy in the future if you want because I'm always doing these week ahead readings. I love doing them for you. Um, also, I have cool links in the description of this video. I mean, they're links. I don't know if they're cool looking. They're just links. But I have links to cool tarot offerings in the description of this video. Head to them if you're interested. Otherwise, I'm sending you on your way. Please remember we are all free and we are also all connected always at the exact same time. I love you. Hello, lovely ones. If you're interested in the decks that I use in this reading, here they are in the order that I use them in. Um, and there you go. I love you guys. Please enjoy your weeks ahead.